It's been said that uh, Islam uses a it uses Christian vocabulary, but they do not use a Christian dictionary. Um, Anthony, would you would you uh, maybe elaborate on some of those terms uh, that yeah. that may confuse Christians? Sometimes I'd say Muslims don't even uh, stick to the Quran. Oftentimes, I mean, David, uh, a friend of ours, David Wood, he often refers to Muslims interpreting their own book as the miracle of reinterpretation. <laughs> and that's where the Quran suddenly means something other. You know, the verse says, kill the idolaters. It doesn't mean kill the idolaters, according to Muslims. He calls that the miracle of reinterpretation. Uh, but there's all sorts of things. Any term that they use in common with Christians that has a distinctively Islamic meaning is one such word. So just the word God. I'm going to talk tomorrow about the Christian doctrine of God and then the Islamic doctrine of God. We don't mean the same thing by God. And so sometimes Muslims will say things like, you know, we both believe in God. There's only one God. Therefore, we believe in the same God. And that's just fallacious. That's, that's equivocal. We don't mean the same thing. If I say, you know, moon, and you use the word moon, and I keep pointing at that desk, at some point, somebody's going to have to say, we don't mean the same thing. Right? We're using the same term. We have very different reference. And, and similarly, when Muslims say that their God is a colossal deceiver, or at least their books do, we're not talking about the same God. When the Quran says that Jesus is not the son of the father, that's not the same God. It's not the God of Christianity. So there's nothing more fundamental as an example I can give than that, but that's pretty standard across the board of terms that we use and they use. Okay. Thank you. You answered questions three and four. <laughs>